Hello and welcome to the English Magnet. Today's video, should and ought to, made easy. Ah, the famous should and its fancy cousin ought to. These modal verbs are pretty common, but they convey a wide range of applications. So, you not only need to know how to use them, but also when. Look no further. We will go over their structures, uses, and will help you dodge common mistakes. Let's do this. Structure of should. Should is a modal verb. That means it's followed by the base form of a verb. Let's look at the different structures. Positive. Subject plus should plus base form. Example. She should look before crossing the road. Negative. Subject plus should plus not plus base form. Or the contraction shouldn't. Example. We should not leave after checkout time. Or we shouldn't leave after checkout time. Question. Should plus subject plus base form. Feel free to add a question word at the beginning of your question. Example, should we leave before midnight? Or, why should we leave before midnight? You can also go for a negative question. Example, should we not leave before midnight? Or, spice it up with a contraction and a question word. Example, why shouldn't we leave before midnight? Structure of ought to. Ought is a semi-modal verb because ought is followed by to. So ought to acts like should and is followed by the base form of a verb. Here's how the structure works. Positive. Subject plus ought to plus base form. Example. She ought to look before crossing the road. Negative, subject, plus ought, plus not, plus base form. Yes, to isn't present in the negative form. Moreover, there isn't a contraction for ought not. Example, we ought not leave after checkout time. Question, ought, plus subject, plus base form. You can add a question word before ought to form an open question. Example, why ought we leave before midnight? You can also form a negative question. Example, ought we not leave before midnight? Keep in mind that the negative and question forms with ought to are fading away and rarely used. So don't dwell too much on these forms. Uses. Should and ought to are both used to express similar meanings, but they vary slightly in formality and frequency. Here's a breakdown of their common uses. Giving advice or recommendations. Both should and ought to are used to give advice or make recommendations. Should is more common and informal. Ought to is slightly more formal and less frequently used. Example, you should drink more water. That's an advice. You ought to drink more water. Again, an advice, slightly more formal. Expressing expectations or duty. Both can be used to express what is expected to happen or what someone is morally obliged to do. Should is more neutral and common. Ought to sounds stronger and can express a sense of duty or obligation. Example, he should apologize for being rude. That's an expectation. He ought to apologize for being rude. That's a duty or obligation, slightly more formal. Giving suggestions or opinions. Both are used to express opinions or give suggestions, indicating what you think is the best course of action. Example, I think you should call her. That's a suggestion and opinion. I think you ought to call her. Again, a suggestion and opinion, 
but a bit more formal. Making moral or ethical judgments. When talking about moral obligations or ethical considerations, both can be used, but ought to may sound more serious or formal. Example. People should treat each other with respect. That's a moral advice. People ought to treat each other with respect. That's a moral judgment. It's more formal. So use should for general advice, suggestions, and opinions in casual conversations. Use ought to when you want to express a bit more formality or give stronger advice, especially when there's a moral implication. It's important to remember that you can express these previous uses in the past as well by using have plus past participle after should or ought to. Let's revisit some examples. You should have drunk more water. That's a missed advice or regret. It's too late. You're suffering from dehydration. He ought to have apologized for being rude. That's missed duty or a criticism. Apologizing was the way to go, but it didn't happen. I think you should have called her. That's an unheeded suggestion and opinion. Calling didn't take place, and I disagree with that. People ought to have treated each other with respect. That's an unfulfilled moral advice. Treating each other with respect was ignored. Seriously, we ought to be kind to one another. Common mistakes. Using to with should. Example. You should to go now. Instead, use you should go now. Should is a modal verb and is followed directly by the base form of the verb without to. It's pretty straightforward. You should know this. Using ought without to. Example. You ought to go to the doctor. Instead, use you ought to go to the doctor. Unlike should, which stands alone before the base form, ought must be followed by to in the positive form. You ought to know that. Using should for past events without have plus past participle. Example, you should call her yesterday. Instead use, you should have called her yesterday. Should followed by a simple base form, can't be used to talk about a past suggestion, expectation, advice, or judgment. Instead, use should have plus past participle to express a recommendation or obligation in the past. There you have it, should and ought to. Remember the former isn't followed by to, while the latter certainly is unless in the negative and question forms. You should really watch more of our videos. Hopefully, this has been helpful. A link to some free material to practice by yourselves can be found in the description below. Keep practicing, and you'll get the hang of it. Thank you for watching. Until next time.